let's let's do the final this final piece let's work on this final piece so so i'm going to go to my texture set and go to this knife this handle and pointer texture sets i'll select all these layers and folders in here then i'll control g to put them in a folder now just name this wood let me put some cap wood okay and i'll hide that for now then i'll go and create a new material this time a smart material for this metal piece smart material i'll go in and type in i'll do a search for you search for steel is a search for steel steel okay steel ru ruined okay it should be this one this one still ruined so i'll drag and drop this let me drop this down below So applying to this i'll do a quick save you always want to make sure you do a quick save in case something goes wrong so do a quick save now then let's have this in here now i would like to let me drag this back drag this back to have some space God, let's drag this and drop this down here again. Have some space like so. Okay. So now go to this piece. Now in this my in here, I will go to now this dot occlusion. I'll go to the max. I like to reduce that. So let's see what that gives us. Oh, it's completely there. I need, I need some of. Let me bring back some of those. Some of those. But then I'll take, I'll take this down. So I'm kind of blend this back to the. Back to the original material, so around there should be fine. I scroll up, Control G, create a folder. Then I'll, I'll add the black marks on this folder. Black marks. Then on the black mark, I go to my poly fill. I click on mesh, mesh fill. I select this. I'll go back to my brush. I'll do a quick save. Okay. Let me go in here and see if I can play with some of the certain settings in here. Still feels a bit too obvious. Let me let me tone this down a bit more. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, I'm going to drag this down on my dirt. I'm going to duplicate this dirt. Ctrl D to duplicate this. And I'll change the color to something something different. I want to use some kind of rust material on this. I want to use some rust material on this. So I have a color in here already. Or oh, I'll go to my color. And I begin to type in the value in here. Type in the value in here. So the value I'm looking for is somewhere around 0. Point, 0. Point, um four zero seven then for this i'll be having zero point one three four one three four then for the last piece i'll be having zero point zero zero four okay something like should be fine 
as you can see it's giving us some rust details already not bad at all not bad but the main goal is to get something that looks this is our main goal here yeah. even though it's not it's not going to be, it may not be as detailed as this but something that still looks really good so we're sitting trying to create something that still looks really really good in here i still feel i should go in here I should crank that up. Let me go to the max. We crank that up just a tad. Okay. So now I'm going to blow this. I want to go. I'll go, I'll go down in here and kind of blow this. So I'm still liking the way it's looking in here, but I will still need to. I still need to blow this a bit more. So on the filter, I'll go to. Uh, on the max, I'll add a filter. Add a filter. I'll use. I'll do a blow. The blow filter kind of you know raise this like so so around somewhere, somewhere around here should be fine so around here should be fine okay I'll leave that as it I'll leave that as it is okay so let me check in back in here to this and it is, it's, it's, it's what I was working on previously before uh, kind, of, kind of testing some material so when I'm getting it looking something around close to this okay so now, so now that we have this in here now but it will be, this will be our final our final piece we still, we still need to make it look somewhat around some, something like this but for now let's let's just keep working on this let's keep working on this for now so now that we have this in here, I would let me go. I need to create. Um, okay, let me, I need to we need to run, randomize this max a bit. Uh, I need to randomize this max. It shouldn't, it shouldn't look too. Hey. Okay. Okay. Somewhere around this is, should be fine okay that's fine so now i'm going to create i'm going to create a layer a new layer on top of this okay put a new layer on top of this let's see uh, okay maybe still still in still inside here still inside here still still inside the same folder i'll create a new layer on top of this Put a new fuel layer. I'll turn off normal. I'll turn off normal. I'm going to add a bit of height in there. Just a bit of height in there. Okay, then for my metallic, I'm going to be having this around 0 0.4. Then roughness should be up to 7. Okay, around there should be fine. Then the color I have a color already. I want to use the same color in here, so I'm going to pick my color for this. So the color I'm going to be using for this is going to be like kind of greenish, kind of pale green tone in here, like some kind of how, um, how do I how do you pronounce how do I even pronounce that? Like some kind of decay you have on, or you have or you have on an old wall. Okay, um, like a dried algae on or a dried algae on on a water on a on a swampy water. A dried one, one that looks really dry, something that looks like this. So I, I'm I've picked the colors already, so I'm just going to input that 0 0.0 point zero point zero eight eight then zero point one zero one zero point one zero okay one zero two one zero two then lastly zero point zero six one six one yeah something around this should be fine then i'm going to be dropping in a smart max on this i'm going to be using a smart max so i'll be using the I'm going to be using the uh the dirt dry smart max to go into my smart max i was typing dirt okay i seem to be spelling that wrongly dirt dry 
This is my dirt dry material, my smart max. I just drag and drop this in here. Something like so should be fine. But if it's a bit too much, I and mean, the height information is just too much in here. Take this back down. Like so should be fine. Just a little white in there. Then now we can begin to tweak some of the settings in here. Let me do a quick save. Okay, so I'll go to my go to my max. I'm going to play with some of the settings in here. Let's see what we can work with in here. Okay. Nope. Let's see. This is what we can get in in here. So while while we're in here, I'm going to take this down to around forty something. Should be fine. Okay. I believe I will still need to blow this out a bit more. I still need to blow this. Texture 2. And this particular one is covering up com covering this up completely. Um, almost looking like almost looking like what we have in here as you can see. But this one looks way too intense. We need to give we need to, we need to give this some breathing space. Maybe somewhere around so around here looks uh closer, so around here looks fine. So around here looks looks fine, it's not bad. So in this field I'm going to add a blur. I'm going to add the blow to this max. As you can see it's blending in it's blending in quite nicely. Maybe a bit too much, but uh okay. Let's get this to blend. Let's get this to blend right in. Around here, around here seems fine. Let's compare this. You can see some of our rust picking out of this, which is fine. Okay. Going back to this max, let me make some more adjustment on this max. Um, on my, let's see. Just you playing around to figure out what. What works best for you? Yeah, I think taking this down is the best option. Around here, okay, something like this is okay. Then, still in here, I need to add some kind of some kind of depth to this. I don't know if um, everything seems fine. Everything seems fine. Okay, so now I'll do a quick save again. So now I I feel I should um let me go to this group. I need to start. I want to start painting some some of these some some things off. So I'm going to group this Control G on this. Let me just name this out. Dry dry. Okay, algae. Dry. I'm just naming with something I can easily remember. Then in here, I will add the black marks. Okay, now all the white marks. Then with my. Yes, I believe so. 
Let's see what we can do in here. Okay, maybe I will just do. Um, see, let me let me let me undo this group. Let me undo that group. Let's have that. Okay. Let me undo that group. Better still, let me just do. Um, 